Hey everybody, it's Peter, and time again for Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're still on Season 5. This is now Episode 19, Option 2. And again, if you're new here, don't forget, hit subscribe, hit notifications. I do post on a weekly basis. I actually, now I'm going to be also doing um, Westworld. And there's some movies coming out. I just did... Um, I just did. Um, I just did uh, Marvel's shit. I just <laughs> here's some bloopers here. I just did um, Marvel's Avengers: Infinity War. Saw that today, and I did a bit of a recap. I'll post the link up here. I will be seeing this again. I may do a spoiler review of that one as well. And what else is coming out? How much else? There are going to be some other movies coming out. we got Deadpool and all the other. Basically a lot of Marvel movies coming out this year, so you, you know keep your eye out for those as well. That's why notifications. Anyway, but tonight's episode. It's another... You know, we're still stuck in the... We're still... Wow, I can't talk today. We're still stuck in the lighthouse. They're trying to figure out what to do. And then, I guess, to go with the theme of Infinity Wars, aliens show up. But not the aliens you think it is. There is no... Slight spoilery, there is no tie-in to this with uh, Infinity Wars at all. A lot of people are going like, I thought maybe, I said as a joke, maybe Phil will show up and he's going to stab Loki the same way Loki stabbed him in the first Avengers movie and says like, hey, now you know how it feels, kind of idea. But that doesn't happen. So we got a bunch of aliens. Uh, I don't remember them from before, but obviously Phil seems to know when they come on the on the monitor and she's like, oh, and the character is called Kovos. Put the picture and the actor's name up here. And he's head of a bunch of aliens. They're going to come and they want to take the Gravitonium away. The Deke knows of these guys. They've actually showed up in future Earth. And it's, they're called the Marauders. Um, I'm not sure if Kovos are the Marauders or the Marauders are uh, working under Kovos. They, that really is that really is not explained. So basically the base is on lockdown actually accidentally because we do get Patrick Warburton showing up again as General as General Rick Stoner. If you remember when they first went to the lighthouse and they activated the ancient 70s protocol and this little hologram shows up it's, Rick, uh, it's Patrick Warburton. They said, oh, there's a, if the, you know, we detected there's something going on around here, so we'll give you an option. They go over to this old school uh, computer terminal, and it's like, yo, option one, is it, you know, war? No, is it a nuclear accident? And so Phil goes like, bunk, it's option two, it's nuclear, we got to shut the thing down, we don't want the aliens coming in, and then it's like, or is it option three, an alien invasion? And it may just like, Phil, what'd you do? You gotta wait for the menu to finish. So basically, because it's a, they set it up for a nuclear uh, holocaust, um, or a holocaust, nuclear disaster. Uh, the base is on total lockdown for 15 years, so they're kind of stuck. And Phil's going like, um, uh, guys, we're kind of stuck here for a while. They thought that maybe that's going to happen to their advantage. They're on lockdown, they got to fend off these alien invaders who want to get the gravitonium. And the story goes from there. Slight side mission. Just before the lockdown happened, Daisy was able to get away. She's taking uh, Robin and Polly to a safe place. They're actually going to take them to the Candyman, a.k.a. and put them in a safe place somewhere. But she also has a secret side mission that her and May talked about that they were trying to find still a cure for Phil. And May says that uh, Busey has an uh, angle on that. Go talk to him. But when you do go dark, I will lie to Phil, blah, blah, blah. So then the lockdown happens, and everybody's uh, fending off these guys. Deke does know about these, like I said before, Deke does know about these aliens. They have some kind of special, he says they're magic. Um, they basically, as they run along, they can cause darkness, sort of a, almost like a biological uh, EMP lights, and things will go off and flicker, and then they show up and they will kill you with their claws, supposedly. Uh, everybody's broken off into groups, of course. Um, you know, we've got everybody in lockdown in one spot. You've got still uh, Fitz and 
uh, Fitzsimmons are still in the one lab where the granite plutonium is and you've got Piper and you still got a couple of other newer agents that you've maybe seen before but they finally give some of these guys some names just before we kill them. And the only one good thing that comes out of all this too, excuse me, that's today's popcorn still talking. One of the good things that does come out of it, uh, they just touched on it really briefly, that Yo-Yo can start using her powers again because I guess it happened before the episode started that Fitz recalibrated her arms so now she can go she can do your yo-yo powers. And that's most of the episode there. It's just they're on lockdown and fending off bad guys and that's about it. Uh, we're getting into fighting again amongst the characters. Uh, yo-yo and Mac are getting into it. You know, I know you're indestructible and blah blah blah. I like you. Well, you know, I always come back to you because even I go like this, I always come back to you and like Mac's are like, well maybe I won't be here when you come back. And Get to a pouty face again, my favorite thing. God, that's annoying. And there's one scene, too, where uh, they're giving Yo-Yo uh, shit because, like, well, why did you kill Ruby? Well, Ruby was the, the destroyer of worlds. Well, do we really know that? Well, she had the gravitonium, and she was freaking out, and I had to kill her. Do we know, though? And then it's like, Max, if I, and then the room is divided. Like, Fitzsimmons is kind of like, well, if she was going to do something, her powers were kicking in, maybe something's going to happen. We told her not. We told her not to. Maybe the world was going to destroy the, get destroyed then, and Yo-Yo did save the day. But then Max, like, he's not backing up his girlfriend. He's just like, yes, but we're S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, even though there is no S.H.I.E.L.D. But, you know, the moral thing, you just can't arbitrarily, even if it's for vengeance, and, you know, that person cut off your arms. You can't go killing people. You know, that's not our way. And then ven eventually Phil just steps in the middle and just like, okay, enough, guys. We got a problem. We got a thing going on. Let's just get this sorted out. You know, so he takes back the reins and he's in control. Uh, that's before Daisy took off. But then everything else goes on. Um, the only thing I'm going to mention is this too. Uh, thing I didn't expect happening is Talbot actually did get locked up after their uh, the last episode when they uh, iced him and they put him in the same lockdown room that uh, where was it? Oh yeah, when Fitz in this, I think they're using the same room they lock him up for there too because uh, he's still in sleeper agent mode but slightly better and uh, there's a weird sequence too where he just starts rattling off the things and it sounds like he's just rattling off map coordinates which is like the coordinates of the lighthouse and you see it like being, being beamed in the space and it's going and going and going I don't know if they can hear all this or not and that's how the aliens end up like showing up and there they are and they beam into the base and start doing the badness. And it's a typical fight, you know, we're down to our last bullet. We don't know, we can't defend against them because uh, any kind of electronics do not work against them. So can't use icers, uh, have to do conventional firearms and literally like th throw Molotov cocktails and, you know, flame bombs or whatever you can think to maybe ignite them or that kind of thing. But yeah, that's all we can really do. The big punchline of it all is uh, Talbot, even though uh, he's coming around, he's he's really, you know, sorry, like, I didn't mean to do that. You know, I was under the influence and blah, blah, blah. But I will fix this. And he kept saying the whole time, I will fix this. So punchline is he does fix it. They have the uh, super soldier chamber that we saw before that Ruby was in in the previous episode. Uh, while they're basically everybody's holding the ground in whatever location they're at. Um, actually, just before that, Yo-Yo does pull them out of holding and they're trying to get back that everybody's in the same location, so the main control area, they're trying to get back there, but they couldn't because the alien showed up too soon. So we still got the team a little bit split up. Can't really do much about that. And then the way Talbot figures he's going to fix things, he actually gets into the chamber, pumps in all the gravitonium, so he gets 100% gravitonium into his body. And we don't get to see too much of it, but you hear like lots of bings and bangs and, and doors being, uh, you know, trying to be forced open. And I thought it was maybe him, but it's not. It's the Marauder aliens. They're trying to bash open doors and stuff, and then everything goes quiet. And then all of a sudden at the, you know, the end of the third act, he shows up and he literally just... <laughs> crushes everybody and dead aliens and that's it. Now that made me think now is is uh, Glenn Talbot the destroyer of worlds. It's not Daisy now and it, well maybe it's not Ruby so maybe he does something stupid. Oh yeah and um, the other thing was too he takes Phil and 
because I guess they're stuck in there, he actually uses his powers and blows all these holes into the ceiling and I guess makes their way out, but then they cut there and leave it at that. And then to top it all off, uh, at the end of the episode, we find um, Daisy is talking with uh, Jake Busey, the candy man. And he says, yeah, okay, he's got the, uh, the, you know, the girls protected, Robin and her foster mother. And he gives her the information that she needs to know to possibly save the day. And uh, at the end of it all, um, you see Daisy in a cemetery with a shovel. And I couldn't see it because it was kind of obscure because they blew some leaves over it. But I, I do believe I'd have to double check. And if I find out correctly, I will post. But I do believe it's her mother's grave. And I think it's something maybe they can take from her and human powers and mix together with some other gizmo they got, some MacGuffin, and save Phil's life. And we're left at that. Um, you know, I did go quite a bit to get a little spoiler here, but... Uh, my brain's still working on uh, Infinity Wars. And like I said, I am going to go see that probably a bunch more times because that was way more interesting than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, yeah, I won't say anything because everybody's saying, is there a tie-in? That's why I thought about the Phil Coulson thing. But yeah, I'm not going to say. Definitely go see the movie and you're going to see what ties into what, who goes what and where. Again, like I said, Go check out my review. I'll put, again, the card here. And, again, as always, I put out to you people. Uh, are you still watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Are you still into this episode? You know, are you still into the series? Are you still enjoying it? Or you're looking forward to a summer's full of actual Marvel movies that actually are more enjoyable and more fun than the way S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been going lately? Because uh, I'm watching it. There's... I, we're at 19, so there's still 20, 21, 22, 20. No, there's, uh, we're going to only get 22 episodes this season. And the last episode, according to IMDb, is called The End. So we don't know if it's the end of the world, the end of the series. Uh, some people have speculated it's going to tie into Infinity War, so we see what happens. Uh, but again, you know, tell me what you thought about it. Leave your comments down below. Again, if you're new here, don't forget, subscribe, hit notifications, uh, like, dislike, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.